Hello ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? Welcome back to another episode of Demo Up. Here at Demo Up, we take a look at various demos in the industry, I share with you my thoughts and opinions on them, and you decide if it's a game that you would like to take a look at. Today's game we're looking at will be Rochard. Now this is a puzzle platformer game in which we follow the amazing exploits of astro miner John Rochard. Utilizing a G-Lifter allows us to manipulate the gravity and the environment around us. Now this demo is available for free on the Steam Store, the full version of the game available for $9.99, but let's just go ahead and take a look. Alright my friends, yes, once again this is a Rochard, the puzzle platformer action game utilizing a gravity lifter. Now the first 15 minutes of the game are actually an introduction with a little bit of cinematics as well as a basic kind of a basic intro to the game, you know, telling you about the controls, uh, how to play the game and everything like that. Very basic stuff. Um, if you want to see it, I suggest just downloading the demo and playing it. Uh, it was nothing that was, would have been interesting for this for this version of demo up. I mean, it was it's just like, you know, WASD to move and Oh yeah, they give a little bit of the backstory, which I'll tell you right now. Um, John Rochard is a astro miner, and essentially they go to different asteroids and mine resources, from valuable resources to sell, that's the assumption, of course. Now his team hasn't found anything in a long time, and they were in danger actually of all losing their jobs. However, they just came upon an asteroid that has a lot of valuable resource on it. Uh, problem is that all of a sudden, there's a strange ship coming towards them, and they don't know what it is or what's going on, and that's actually what's happening at the moment. Also, the asteroid's acting kind of funny, and all this weird stuff's going on. For instance, these droids here, which is supposed to normally be helpful, are now just blowing up and <laughs> short-circuiting and electricity that hurts very badly. Now, look at these guys. You boys are trespassing on Skyrig property. I'm gonna have to kindly ask y'all to leave. Gonna have to kindly ask y'all to leave. Love that southern accent. All right, let's talk about the general controls of the game. And uh, try not to listen too much to these wild boys. Now, this is how the game is going to work. Um, I can slow down, not slow down time, but change the gravity of the game uh, using the shift button. Now, you're also gonna notice these force fields. Force, what are they? Huh? Force fields, force. Um, those are basically they tell you what can and cannot pass through them. Now the red ones, I cannot move through, ever. But objects can, such as that box. The blue ones, however, objects cannot move through and I can. So that's part of the uh, platforming and how to figure out how to move from point A to B. You gotta pay attention to what those are. And uh, yeah, there you go, that's how it works. Now, for example here, uh, knock that up there, and wonderful. Let's move our way up. Let's, let's take, take those boxes down there. We can move that lever, that lever. And that is completely unnecessary. <laughs> completely 100% unnecessary. Now, once again, how do we get our way across? You notice when we change the gravity, we can propel things further. That's something that obviously should, should and can, can and should be utilized. So we do, just like that. Yeah. Like this. And toss one more across. Let's make our way up to here. Oh, that down. So again, this red thing, I cannot move through, no matter how hard I try. Only the blue. Alright. Nice through this way. Now the next area, let's see, we got our box up here. Let's see if we can knock that down that way. There we go. And get this up here. It should land right where I want it to. No, it doesn't. How unfortunate. Let's try this way, huh? Come on, are you serious? Are you serious? Are you seriously not gonna do that? This is really frustrating. <laughs> One more time. One more time. There we go. That's what I needed. <clears throat> Should be enough. One thing you'll notice is you, you can pretty much like infinitely use this gravity thing. I, I see no resource or anything like that on it. I find that a little unnecessary. However, I don't know because I, I, I'm, you know, I'm not playing the later stages of the game. Maybe it becomes absolutely necessary as time goes on. Oh my gosh, these things are so annoying. Like, okay, I understand that they're short circuiting, but why, why do they, are, why are they apparently angry at me and they chase me down? That's one thing I don't get. Oh no! Try to hit it with something. <laughs> yes, that was that's what I wanted to do. I had that planned all along, actually. Yeah, you don't have to believe it, it's the truth. <laughs> yeah, let's get this guy. 
Now, one thing you do have to be uh, wary of is, that, yes, the, the slow down time is great, but it doesn't slow the fire of the enemies or anything. They're still kind of going to town here, so you just got to be careful of that. Because they do hurt you pretty quick. You know, I have Q for the melee attack, as you can see there. Which is helpful, but still isn't exactly... I'm not, not exactly a fighting machine here. I'm just a guy from Texas trying to do a sky rigging. That's all. Y'all come back now, you hear? Okay, that's not where where I wanted to be. Look, did you, did you notice though how quickly you get damage? Uh, we go to kind of a grayscale as well when you get low in health. Kind of a way to inform you. <laughs> I mean, it is easy to take these people out, but you do get damage pretty quickly as well. Just gotta be wary of that situation. One really good thing, of course, is being able to utilize these boxes uh, to propel yourself as well as a shield. That is that is a really awesome thing to do. Use those boxes as a shield. What am I doing here? Okay, so, go this way. Pick that guy up pretty quickly. Got these explosive barrels as well. Yes! Uh, you notice bigger boxes like this, they can only be lifted up. Now, when you see, normally, I can lift these small boxes, these big boxes. Oh, I can't lift up. So let's, let's change the gravity. Oh, all of a sudden, I can lift up these gigantic boxes. Great. There's really no reason for me doing that. I just felt like it. Oh! Notice that coin? Uh, you can collect those. I don't care to right now. Though. I'm gonna keep moving. <laughs> but you can, if you so desire. Sure, Collecting those in. is an option. Skylar, you all right? Stay what away happened? from these idiots. Blimey, that was a close call. They there do damage to you. And the roof fell on the it stinks. I'm okay, but Sandra is hurt. Get away from me. I can't get him out. I don't know What's what. Position? No, get away from me. That is not what I asked you to do at all. Oh no, Skylar. Skylar's our friend. She's in trouble. We have to go save her. All right, Rochard. Let's keep moving. People love comparisons between games that are somewhat similar. Um, so people may ask me to compare this to Trine too. Well, I don't know that I can. It's a much different type of platformer. So I apologize if you're looking for a direct comparison between the two. I'm not really likely to give you one. This is not a position that I want to be in. Oh, come on. There we go. That's exactly what I need. Yeah, shoot your friend. It makes sense. And then take some boxes to the face. No! <laughs> Drop the field. I... Uh, <laughs> oh, that was real. You know what I should have done? I didn't think of that right away. Let's try this, huh? You guys ready for this? I'm gonna do this. A little bit of trickery here. Yeah, come here, baddies. Come here. Yes. Yes, come this way. Walk right this way. Keep walking. Oh, shucks. <laughs> that works too, I suppose. That's one way of getting, uh, getting the job done. Get her done! As Mr. Texas Rochard here would say. There we go, got him. So again, you can see this game isn't really particularly hard, but you you must be careful when you come across an enemy because they will hurt you relatively John, quickly. Do you copy? I read you, Skyler. Why am I not breaking that glass? Whatever. Really use your help. Okay. I can't get to you. Okay. I'm outnumbered well, let's and do outgunned. This. Let's go up this We're way. All right, this is really boy. frustrating me all of a sudden. Wild boys? What are they doing this far out from the river? There, finally. Why Jeez, I'm crow. Skyrig mine. There's plenty of easier targets. They know we're protected by the sky police. Uh-huh. That Something way. Doesn't add up here. Where are you now? Shaft 2, oh. but I can't get through. Let's go Wild this way. boys are using door jammers. There's Door jammers, huh? Install a rock blaster in the G lifter. That'll do the job. Okay. All right. Rock blaster. Got it. There we go. John, get us out of here. I promise. Just yep. hang in there. Over All right. And out. Uh, stop talking. <laughs> All right. So next area. Really? Get that right in there. All right, I mean, the assumption is that I have to do that. Piece of easy. What does that even mean? Eh, yeah, do that. Drop the box. Thank you. Make 
make our way up. Yeah, here's a collectible coin. So these are the type of things you'll randomly pick up. I do have to upgrade my G-Lifter, however, to help in this battle. Let's go do that, huh? Get these elevators. Interesting, you do have to tap up to actually move up. Jeez, crow. Get that guy. That is ridiculous rates of fire. Let's throw that, some of that back at you. There you go. How do you like that, huh? What are those things doing? Let's just keep moving. Sounds good. Can't do that, but I can do this. Aha! And various upgrade stations. This is one of them. Rock blast. Now all of a sudden, yeah, rock blaster. So you're gonna notice on the left hand side there is actually a uh, heat, like an overheat kind of thing there. It will, uh, it will overheat on you. Be careful. Let's let that happen. But you have now all of a sudden some sort of offensive abilities besides uh, just picking up objects, which is good. Wild boys, meet, rock blaster. meet a rock blaster, wild boys. All right. So although I don't want to make a direct comparison to trying to, it is, uh, you know, it's a platformer as well. That's obviously something to be said. I, it, it's got a much different feel to it. Certainly a much different style. There's really uh, no question about that at all. I don't think it takes takes much to be able to tell that right away just by looking at the game. But, you know, uh, I will also say that I enjoy this. It's fun. It's enjoyable. Wow, I am really low on health. You do have an automatic recharge though, so if you get low, just kind of chill out for a second and then continue along your way. Give me my rock blaster. Blasting some wild boys. Is that what they're called, the wild boys? And what, they have like the Punisher symbol on their clothes. I don't get that, I don't understand that. It's the wrong universe, wrong game. And we reached a checkpoint and I do believe that that is going to be it. So there you go guys, that is Rochard. Once more, once more available for download on the Steam store if you want to take a look at the demo version of the game. The full version of the game available for $9.99 on Steam as well and you've got some nice little highlights here and some screenshots. Bend gravity to your will to solve puzzles, yada yada yada. If you like platformers, take a look at this, I have to, or at least try out the demo. Get a feel for the game, see if you enjoy it or not. And that's going to do it, guys, for this episode of Demo Up. As always, if you like the content, please subscribe. Stay tuned in the future for more demos up, demo ups, where we take a look at various demos whenever they become available. Thanks again, guys. Please subscribe, keep watching, and keep on.